Nancy, let's get started at the beginning. Um, you've been with us a long, long time. Um, what was your real estate practice like before you met me, before you got involved with the Craig Proctor system, and how has it changed over the years? Well, well, before I met you, I was more of a traditional broker and didn't use all of the tools that you've taught us. And it took me a while to um, absorb them and learn them and, and believe in them. Uh, but my my firm definitely has changed. My agents are able to take advantage of a lot of the Craig Proctor training. I um, also have participated in many, many conferences. And so we provide the unique selling proposition and we offer all our guarantees and we distinguish ourselves from the other average agents. Now, uh, I just want to give a shout out to all the uh, realtors in the Carolinas that are, are watching this. Um, Nancy, if you partner up with her, actually gives all the agents at her company listing appointments and buyer appointments, not leads, uh, you know, not a week of training in the phone book. Uh, but actual listing appointments and buyer appointments. These are qualified, uh, legitimate, qualified, motivated buyers and sellers. Um, first of all, how are you able to do that, Nancy? We have an overflow of leads. We have an amazing marketing team. We implement the Craig Proctor systems. They're USPs and the uh, guarantees and our phone rings. So we get internet uh, leads. We get referral leads from referral companies, relocation companies. And I have a lot of listings. So those listings generate a lot of sign calls. So we have an inside sales team. So there are inside sales agents that are taking all these inquiries, whether they're by internet, email, phone, they speak to them first, they qualify them, they get all their information, they set them up in our CRM, they put them on drip campaigns, and then they have access to all of our agents calendar. And then they plug in the appointment right into the agents calendar and the Agent may be meeting the prospect via phone. They might be meeting them in person at their office, in, at their home, and um, and then they uh, or Zoom. So any of those meetings. Nancy, you're you're making a promise to real estate agents that you actually can deliver on. And personally, um, I think that's what the broker's uh, job should be: is to um, is to give. Uh, business, not just leads, but actually qualified buyer and seller appointments uh, to the agents that work at the brokerage. Let's switch to uh, the training that you do, because the the, tr the coaching and training you do with your team is enormous, uh, and it happens every day forever. Uh, talk about the commitment you make to people to partner up with you. So that's great. Uh, I'm big on to training. I'm educating. I, I love to grow myself. So I'm always educating myself. Uh, but I also have been in the business for almost 30 years. And with that, I've had over 6,000 transactions personally. So I have so much to give and to share. And I, I'm an open book. I give all of my knowledge and, tra and training that I've learned through you, through other uh, conferences and uh, books that I read, and uh, share that with my agents. So when they join us, they start up with uh, about a four-week training program, and they learn how to do a buyer presentation with our PowerPoint that we provide them, a listing presentation. They do role plays with me. They do role plays with our ISAs. They learn how to do the paperwork. They learn how to do all, work with all our systems and um, all our portals that they need to have access to. So they, that is an initial uh, training. We start giving them le buyer leads once they... Um, hit one of the modules, which is early on, on the buyers. So they don't have to spend the whole month training and not get um, appointments. In fact, if they're studious, they can get through that section of the modules within a week and then expect to have appointments thereafter. And then after that, we have weekly training that I host. And that training is invaluable and it's very practical training. Uh, I came from a different brokerage and I felt like their training really didn't teach me the guts of the business, and it was more to sell their products. Whereas our training is is really strong, and we have special speakers that come in. We have lunch meetings in the office, and we have vendors that uh, support some of this. Uh, but it's coming from me, and it's coming from things that I uh, believe are the latest, greatest um, objection handling tools, how to do the best presentation, what to do when you do an open house, but it's it's vast. Every tra every week is different. 
Okay, so uh, I'm going to ask you a very blunt question. If I was uh, fairly new in real estate and I partnered up with you and I've got what it takes and I go through all the training, I'm uh, ambitious. What kind of money could I net in my pocket uh, being an agent on uh, working for your company? Some of my agents are well into the six figures and it really depends You know, on your commitment. You said you're highly motivated. You're going to work with really long hours. You're going to work hard and respond and follow up with the leads. Then you're going to do that six figure business. If you know some agents get into this business thinking it, it could be a part time thing, and it's not. You know, agent, uh, your clients are going to expect you to be fully engaged. Now, because you spend so much time with agents that partner up with you, I assume uh, you've got a pretty good sifting process. So you're you're not bringing on people that are don't have what it takes. Uh, you know, you, you want committed people, full time realtors. Yeah. And um, what are you looking for? Um, okay, so you, you mentioned ambitious, and they got, they have to be full time. But are you like really good at meeting uh, an agent saying, okay, this one's get this person's going to be great, or this person's probably not going to make it? Yeah. So over time, we've become more selective on who we have joined the team. So we do want people that have like minds, that are <clears throat> service oriented, care about their clients, and are really sincere in the business. So they're really liked and trusted. Um, and that's really important. But I also screen out the ones that have full-time jobs. I don't feel like they, they've, uh, in historically, they don't really uh, do well in real estate if they have a full-time job, especially this market, it's crazy. You've got a client that wants to see a house today. They're not gonna wait for you to get off work. Right, um, obviously, so yeah. We want the <clears throat> agents that are fully committed uh, and um, I, I, I will take someone that's experienced or unexperienced, but they have to have the right um, ethical background and um, motivation. And, and the other thing I talk, look for specifically, are they sponges? Do they want to learn? Are, are they, they coachable? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Well, I mean, you, you pull all the strings. Obviously, you've got the leverage because if you are uh, handing out listing appointments and buyer appointments, uh, that is the number one thing that real estate agents want above and beyond anything else. So you um, have a lot of agents uh, you know, approaching you and you, you're able to um, pick and choose and partner up with the right agents and then really commit a lot of time to making sure they're successful. Obviously, the, mo the more money they make, the more money you make. So you're very motivated to train them and coach them up and help them become very successful.